so. Anybody else play Dead by Daylight? Come forth, weary compatriots. Find strength in my light. Go back to the dark, you vile things! Evil Dead, the game is out, and holy free holy and my guacamole, I could not be more pleasantly surprised with my experience thus far. Like many of you, I'm a huge Dead by Daylight fan, and to be honest, from the moment I began to load up the game, I was already judging the book by its cover. I mean, the Dead by Daylight title screen is incredible and sets the tone for the entire game right off the bat. The Evil Dead title screen? Not so much. Already, even the menu is superior in every way. The survivor campfire in the background with your last played killer at the foreground is pretty cool. And from here, you can freely access every game mode and view all your collection of characters with minimal load time. Evil Dead's menu screen, though, is rife with harsh transitions and load screen. The foreground image doesn't automatically update to what you're currently queued up as. And while it's unfair to compare it to a game with six years of development behind it, remember that Dead by Daylight still has complete fucking horse shit in their game after six years of selling cosmetics. In my view, Evil Dead finds itself in an optimistic spot for continuing improvement and the success of this game is really going to depend on how quickly the minor issues get fixed before the player base gets bored of the gameplay loop. The gameplay, which, by the way, is peppered with hilarious minor glitches and dear god, the driving in this game. I'm a terrible dri driver, by the way. Nah, you're all good. Oh my god! I can't that see! Was sick. <laughs> I'll get used to it. The animations don't feel very fluid. I have to constantly repress buttons and fight the UI as well as the demon. Okay, so we light this, we light this, and our fear goes down. Come on. Come on, work. In peace. Come on, come on, come on. Light, 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 light. Gotta get this fear down. Come on. Are you. God damn it, fucking thing. Okay, back to the light. Back to the light. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Getting into a car looks like this. And would it be too much to ask for an occupant count like WoW does? Check this out. Here's a glitch I ran into the other day where, for some reason, I couldn't move. I'm hitting a bunch of keys, and you can actually see me trying to alt tab here, but for some reason, I could only move forward by swinging my melee weapon. When I realized this, I was a little surprised, but thought nothing of it. <laughs> Thankfully, Saber has moved quickly to fix animation cancelling and other bugs and glitches. This also included balance changes to the roster, which I was actually pretty happy to see. Evil Dead has such a great roster of characters with their own little quips and personalities. Time to leave the fruit cellar! It brings a more lighthearted tone to the gameplay, and I think it really sets up an environment for a good time whether you're by yourself. There's a thunder in my line. Or with your three drunk friends. Demon possessions from Max Fear are especially my favorite. It just never stops being funny. Love getting to shoot my teammates for stealing all the cola. Piece of shit. What? You wanna go again? Don't forget, he called me yellow. Oh my goodness, Mano a chainsaw. This demon is an absolute chad. Some of the other mechanics are a bit more of a nuisance though. At first the jump scare traps did a good job of startling me, but now... Oh no. Anyway. That's not a real car. Well, the gang's all here. Dooby dooby doo, where are you? We got you. Left nut, I'm back in from elementary school. Oh, really, bitch, these skeletons fall so easy. Wait, no, not all skeletons, not all skeletons. My fear level is high? Turn on the fucking cab light. This guy says he means Ghostface. That's the hell for you, I have yet to think up a rating system because I'm just some hack screaming into the void, but I could easily right. give Evil Dead 3 out of 4 stars. It seems that we are due for a resurgence right in cooperative PvE, or I guess in this case PvP, but whatever. Back for Blood, oh, Overwatch 2 is supposed to have a good co-op, and Rainbow Six Siege Extraction, which another uh, local hero did a great video on, got like 100 views. Already bought a new speedboat. I hope Saber continues to develop and tinker with this game to keep it fresh, and I'll see you ashes and Cheryl's at the gas and go. Protect the Necronomicon with you.